Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in statistics. In this lesson we're just going to revise what we already know about box and whisker plots. So let's look at the video. In this video we're going to talk about box, box and whisker, box and whisker diagrams. And these are actually quite common, box and whisker diagrams, especially if you ever do any stock trading. If you go to most stock chart uh, uh, providers, a box, and whisker, a box and whisker diagram is usually one of the options. So let's understand how to generate one and essentially how to read one using just some data that we have up here. So the first thing we want to do is order it, because we're going to be finding a lot of medians when we want to generate our box and whisker diagram. So let's just order the numbers up here. So let's see, it looks like I, the lowest number here is 49. So I have that 49, then I have another 49 right here. Then I have another 49 right over there. And then do I have any 50s? Yes, I have two 50s. One, two 50s. I have two 50s. One, two. Do I have any 51s? I have one 51 as far as I can tell. So one 51. Do I have a 52? 52, one 52. I have a 52. A 53. I have one 53, two 53s. 53 and 53. 54, there's one. 54, I don't have any other ones. 55, I don't see 155 here. 56, I see a 56 right there. 56, and then 57, I have two, three of them. One, two, three, one, two, three 57s, and I've got a 58, a 58, a 59, 59, let me scroll over a little bit, and then I have a 67, and I'm done. I've ordered all of these numbers, and now it's a lot easier to find the median. Now, the median, as you may or may not remember, is the middle of these numbers. So how many total numbers do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 numbers. So the middle number, if you have 17 numbers, there's two ways to think about it. Whatever, however many numbers you have, we have 17, you add 1 to 17, and you divide by 2, and you count that many spaces from either the left or the right hand side, and you will get the middle number. So this is 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 53. Should work from this side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You got 53. And if you ever have a situation where it's like, let's say you only had 16 numbers, it would be 16 plus 1 divided by 2. You get 8 and a half. That means count eight spaces and then go halfway between that number and the number right after that, which we saw that in a, a few diagrams before. But anyway, 53 is the median. 53 right here is the median. Now, the next thing we want to do when we want to generate a box and whisker diagram is figure out the median of the two halves of the data. Notice, if you pick 53 as kind of a dividing line, half the data is above it, half the data is below it. If someone, if you know these are people's ages and they say they're 53, they're at the 50th percentile. 50% of the people are above that uh, above their age, 50% of the people are below it. This is the middle number. What we want to do now is find the middles of the middles, or find essentially what is the 25th and the 75th percentile. So what's the number where only one-fourth of the numbers are less than that? And there's actually a little ambiguity here. So if I want to find the middle of this left-hand portion right here, the, I, it's, it's debatable whether I want to include this median right here. And actually, both of those are valid ways of generating box and whisker diagrams. The typical algorithm, an algorithm is just a way, uh, a process for doing things, is to include this median in the bottom list and to include this median in the top list. So let's find the median of this list right here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
nine numbers. Nine plus nine plus one over two is equal to ten over two, which is equal to five. So we count one, two, three, four, five right there. That is the median of this bottom list. And we actually call this right here, we call this the first quartile. We call this the first. This number right here is the first quartile. And what it does is it separates. It's you, there's a bunch of ways you could view it. You could say that all uh, that 25 percent or one fourth. That's where the word quartile comes from. You have one fourth of the values are below this number. Or you could say three fourths of the of the values are above this number. Now the other way to do a box and and whisker diagram is you don't include this median, but I think you would have gotten the same answer. If you didn't include this median, you'd have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight values. Eight plus one divided by two is four and a half, so you'd go one, two, three, four and a half. So you'd go halfway between these two fifties, but you would still get fifty. That's the number that's between a fifty and a fifty, it's a fifty. So either way our first quartile number wouldn't be different. Now the second quartile is the median. This is the second quartile. Quartile. I always imagine you have 25. This is 25% of the numbers. 25% or one fourth of the numbers. It's the first quartile, or it's the first uh, a section fourth of the numbers, and its upper bound is the first quartile. Then you have this one fourth of the numbers. This is also 25%. Of the total numbers, but is its uh, its upper bound is the second quartile, or it's the median. This is from the 25th to the 50th percentile. And then, if we want to go from the 50th, this is so. This is 25th percentile. This is 50th percentile, which means that 50% of the values are below it. This means 25% of the values are below it. And then, if we want the 75th percentile, we find the median of these values over here. And we'll include this median right there. So once again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 values. 9 plus 1 over 2 is 5. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the median of this, this uh, the higher half of our data set is 57. So this right here, this number right there, the 57, the 57, we call that our third, our third quartile, our third quartile, and it represents the upper bound on the section from our 50th percentile to 75th percentile. So that's 25% of our numbers there. You can imagine, that's what's called a, the third quartile. One quartile, two quartiles, three quartiles. And of course, the number 57, you would say it's in the 75th percentile. 75th percentile, which means that 75% of numbers, or it is the 75th percentile, 75% of numbers are below it. And if you count these, you would see that that's uh, indeed the case. Anyway, so we've been able to classify some interesting numbers here. Let's actually plot it now using a box and whisker diagram. So what I'm going to do here, let me draw my x-axis just like that. It doesn't have to be horizontal like this. It could be in any form. So let's say that this right here is 0. That's 0. That right there is 100. Halfway between 0 and 100, I'm just making a scale right here, is 50. This right here would be 75. Right now what I'm doing has nothing to do, well, it has, I want to include these numbers, but I'm just trying to make a nice scale to measure by. This is 25. And so let's draw this data using a box and whisker diagram. So the median is 53. So the median is 53. Maybe 53 is sitting right about there. Right, That's right about 53. That's our median. Our first quartile is 50. So 50 is right about is right there actually. Our third quart quartile is 57. So 57 might sit right around here. I might want to scale this a little bit differently. And I'm going to draw a box here. I'm going to draw a box here. So this right here that is 53. That right there is 57. That's 57. And that right there is 50. So what I'm essentially doing is representing the middle 50% of the data is in this box. And this line represents the actual median. Now, it's called a box and whisker diagram. I've only drawn a box. Let me draw the whisker.
or the whiskers. The whiskers essentially show us the entire range of data. So the lowest data point is 49, which is right over here. I should, I should zoom in on this a little bit. Highest data point is 67, which is maybe right over there. So we draw whiskers. So what a box and whisker diagram is showing us, it says, OK, most of the data is sitting inside of the box. 50% of the data, this 25% and this 25%, is within this box. But just to get an idea of the range of the data, it shows whiskers to show the low point all the way to the high point. Now let me draw this one a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit, because I realize that this is a little bit all squunched up. So let me draw it a little bit nicer. So let me change my scale a little bit. Let's say that this right here is, let's say that this is 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 7, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So this right here is 67. Where was 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, that's 50 right there. So if we use this as our scale, I think it'll be a little bit clear what's going on with the box and whisker diagram. We have our median, our second quartile. Our second quartile is 53. 1, 2, 3, 53. It's right here. 53 is right there. Our first quartile, the number that is greater than 25% of the values is 50. It's 50 right there. That's that. Let me color code it. This number right there is this number right there. This number, our third quartile, the number that is larger than 75% of the values is 57. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is this value right here. The median, just to be clear, was 53. That is this value right here. So now we can draw our box. We can draw our box. The box is telling us is that 50% of the values are between here and here, between 50 and 57. And then we draw our whiskers to show the entire range of the values. So the highest value here is 67. The highest value here, let me do that in another color, is 67. Is 67. So we draw a whisker that goes all the way to 67. And then the lowest value here is 49. So we draw a whisker that goes to 49. So what you see when you look at a box and whisker, so let's say you didn't even see this data. If you just looked at this box and whisker diagram, you'd immediately say, OK, the middle number looks like 53. It's, it's, uh, the, most of the numbers are 50%, I should say, of the numbers are between 50 and 57. So most of them are squunched up over here. But the entire range goes all the way to 67. But that doesn't go too much below the 50th, the, the, inner, the inner quartile range, or the range between the 25th and 75th percentile. So hopefully that gives you a good overview. And now when you see these in stock charts, although in stock charts you'll see these vertical as opposed to horizontal like that, you'll have a good understanding of what they're telling you. Right, grade 11s, I think that was an excellent lesson on the box and whisker plot. Please make sure you can draw box and whiskers, make sure you use a proper scale with a ruler, and practice and then do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a great day.